No single theory or hypothesis can explain all of the phenomena that occur with migraine. The old vascular theory of migraine suggested that the aura of migraine resulted from vasoconstriction and migraine headache was caused by the dilatation of blood vessels. Recent studies using magnetic resonance imaging techniques and positron emission tomography have shown that the old vascular theory of migraine is no longer viable in its original form. The current view suggests that certain triggers, such as stress or hormonal changes, cause a complex series of neural and vascular events that lead to migraine aura and headache. In those who experience the aura, a trigger is believed to initiate an event known as cortical spreading depression. In cortical spreading depression, a wave of intense neuronal and glial depolarization begins in the visual cortex and spreads at a rate of about 3 to 6 millimeters per minute. The intensity of this electrical activity is thought to be the cause of visual scintillations that patients experience at the beginning of the aura. After the wave passes, it leaves an area of exhausted nerve cells with depressed electrical activity which is likely to be responsible for the visual blind spot, or scotoma, experienced by some migraine sufferers. When the cortical spreading depression involves the visual cortex of the brain, it causes the visual aura. The cortical spreading depression could also involve the sensory part of the brain, causing some patients to experience numbness and tingling in one limb or on one side of their face. In patients with migraine without the aura, cortical spreading depression may occur in areas of the brain where depolarization is not consciously perceived, such as in the cerebellum. Currently, there are several theories explaining the pain of migraine. One theory is that the cortical spreading depression causes inflammation in the pain-sensitive meninges. Pain signals from the meninges travel along the trigeminal nerves to the trigeminonucleus and from there the signals are transmitted to the brain, resulting in the perception of headache. The normal rhythmic pulsations of the meninges are most likely the cause of the throbbing or pulsating pain experienced in migraine headaches. Another theory suggests the brain stem and activation of the trigeminovascular system as the origin of pain. When the nerve centers in the trigeminal ganglion are activated, they can send pain signals directly to the brain and also send signals that could cause the cortical spreading depression. Stimulation of the trigeminal ganglion results in release of certain neuropeptides such as substance P and calcitonin gene-related peptide causing neurogenic inflammation. This neurogenic inflammation is thought to be important in the prolongation and intensification of the pain of migraine. Stimulation of the trigeminal nerve may cause referral of pain to any of the nerve's three branches, resulting in sinus or facial pain. Migraine patients have been found to have abnormal sensory processing of pain signals causing increased excitability of neurons within the central nervous system. This is referred to as sensitization. As a result, an input that would normally evoke a mild sensation would produce pain. Sensitization is likely to be responsible for worsening of the migraine headache with coughing, bending or sudden head movements. Many factors can trigger a migraine attack. A large retrospective study of patients with migraine identified the following triggers of acute migraine attacks in the following order of descending frequency. Emotional stress, hormonal changes in women, skipping meals, weather, sleep disturbances, odors, neck pain, lights, alcohol consumption, smoking, sleeping late, heat, food, exercise, and sexual activity. Notice that stress was reported as the most common trigger, followed by hormonal changes.